personally think that everyone has a story, you know, everyone has a, a starting point to your life. Some of the times, it's not the times when you're born. A lot of people think that your life starts when you're born. But for me personally speaking, it's when you find something that separates you from a lot of different people. Um, because at the end of the day, there's so many different people in the world. You want to feel unique. You want to feel different. It, it soon came out that I had a few flaws that were not like everyone else. Obviously, my, my head was a bit bigger than everyone else, you know. Um, and that was a big point, a big... A big big target on my back for a long time I think that is a, a, a point where I kind of struggled to fit in because I was almost like a laughing stock you know it's it's not anything that's like too too oh my gosh that's horrible but like for me I I stood out in a way which wasn't positive in my own in my own like light you know um, when you grow up you know you want to be someone be something so Essentially at that point I had a bit of a bit of struggle, you know, it wasn't it wasn't great man But in our culture that makes you stronger than our high schools and stuff like that That's supposed to make you a stronger person and I think it was about 16 when I now started going to the gym started working out started playing a lot of basketball and That gave me purpose, you know, I started lifting up weights. I started getting bigger and things started changing for the better because now I was different. A lot of people weren't going to the gym, they were going home, going to school, coming back, and I was just like, no, 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 I need, to, I need to go to the gym, I need to do something more with myself. I just, I just wanted to do it, because, you know, around that time, there was a stigma of when you're 16, you go to the gym, that's the proper age where you can go to the gym, and I was like, okay, cool. Let me, let me try this, let me see where it goes. I didn't have any specific picture in mind of what I wanted to look like, I just enjoyed going to the gym. And I would spend my nights, we had a gym at home, I would spend my nights just bench pressing, push-ups, pull-ups uh, on the side of the steps. Every year I progressed, got a bit better, a bit stronger. I would say year 12, 13, we called that like form 6, uh, upper 6, lower 6, I started pushing a lot. Started getting more comments about my physique, you know, it was, it was very interesting from being a person that was made fun of because of my head. Um, other smaller things and I was like okay cool right this is different this is a different type of admiration from other people and slowly but surely other people started catching saying yeah man let me also go to the gym let me work out a bit and try that try what you're doing because you're looking better you're looking bigger and all throughout high school that was like that was my thing now bro I, I went gym uh, played a lot of basketball but it wasn't like out there that I was a gym person, like, whoa, that guy's a gym guy. It was more like a side thing, but it was still something that helped me separate and kind of put my energy towards something positive. Um, I lived a normal life high school, man. I think now when I was coming towards university, coming out of high school, there was a lot of time we had between finishing and then actually going off to university. So that was a bit of a not tricky time but some stuff happened there where it's like I switched a lot man I, I remember there were times when I was in the gym at 3 a.m. I kid you not I still used to do this but I rarely do it now but I would be in the gym at 3 a.m. in the morning doesn't matter which day it was Sunday Saturday Friday Monday I was there and I was working out um, and I was fighting stuff within me. And you find a lot of people that go to the gym, really, really buff and like really nice looking people physique wise, have something that they're fighting with internally. Um, and a lot of times it hurts, you know, you know, a lot of people will play it off. Oh, I'm big, I'm strong. But the thing is that if you don't deal with what's in your mind, everything else in your life will pretty much shatter because you have a nice physique, but this is still weak. And David Goggins actually says that a lot, but you can't build a frame without your mindset. And what the gym did was, it kind of gave me a bit of both. I was really focused, you know, I wanted to prove people wrong at the time. I remember it was one of those stories, you know, it's something I don't really want to replay, but I had to prove some people wrong and that's all I thought about, bro. I was working out every single morning. Um, that's all I could think about. And then at some point in time, I was like, 
it stopped hurting you know I was like I don't feel too broken I just felt empty bro I was like so what now because you've done so much you've worked out you've you've gotten you've 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 just done so much but you're like what now and that was a, a big time because I didn't know what to do from there you know I kept on the gym but I had no one else to prove wrong this was right about the time where like I started praying more I think God has been very present in my life that's why I am who I am today because there are times when I couldn't perform I really was bad at school up until let's just say year 10 form 4 I was terrible at school man uh, I don't know why I'm saying this late in the video but if you stayed yeah I was not good and it really turned me into a person that wasn't exactly on point you know obviously your parents want you to be good at school and if you're not good at school the heat comes and I wasn't proud of myself because I wasn't putting enough effort luckily I prayed to God and a lot of stuff changed in my life I ended up finishing high school I didn't think I was gonna do that high school finished it I remember O levels I got five O levels bro straight up I won't even lie to you bro I, I barely made it my IGCSEs barely made it through AS level way better A level was a re I really went for it bro I got an A star an A and a C A star for design technology and that was the best mark in the world which was a big thing for me because I didn't think I could do that at all art was an A C English A but that was a lot of that was through the gym the focus the discipline of doing working out and even though it was during COVID didn't have a lot I was just doing push-ups and eventually came to university and university for a lot of people they don't realize that it's so individual like you have to know who you are right people say you have time to figure out who you are take time yes right eventually along the road things will open up to who you truly truly are but your morals and principles have to be well look at people messaging me now your morals and principles have to be on point because you can get lost you can find other people and just like go on to their train of thought you can go party until the sun goes down and not focus on who you are and you will lose yourself trust me um, I'm the UK now I know people in the States I don't know where you are but I know here that if you're not focused and people just pull you one way you're done and for me the gym so far has been something that's grounded me you know there are a lot of a lot of battles I will have in my head in the future that I have had whereby I really would have been struggling you know there are a lot of situations in life and I'll generalize so it's not too specific but times when your heart feels like it's it's not performing it feels like it's breaking down like shattering all right moments where you feel like there's some internal pain something realized I realized is that what I learned is that your brain when there's unfathomable pain like experience sometimes it translates that pain into actual physical pain and that's why a lot of people say I feel so bad inside when certain situations happen people break up with you um, you're just in a very bad spot and that's why but for me the gym helped not numb because numbing is very bad because when you numb something it will come back right it will, guaranteed if you numb it right not good I had to slowly fix myself from the ground up in certain situations and Jim helped me in those situations become a better person more confident with myself understand that everything happens for a reason but if you're in the gym everything else will work for you and it's really helped me stay grounded you know tomorrow I know I'll go to the gym 6 7 tomorrow I'll go to the gym 5 a.m. tomorrow I've got gym tomorrow I've got gym from gym where am I going school and everything flows you know a lot of times the people complain about I don't have a routine I don't know what to do start off the day with gym your brain works better 5 a.m. you can't go really late and you just do your best because a lot of times you will compare 
you know it's innate you will compare yourself to the next person in the gym you see me walking i'm just using myself as an example not that i'm better than anyone right you see me walking you see me oh i'm posing in the mirror oh he's huge man i could never get like that or i see someone else i've done it before i see people looking massive but they all have a different story so at the end of the day what is your story that's going to make you a better person because if you allow yourself to be swayed by other people's personalities and just different body types you as a person will not grow and this is all from a place of what i've experienced you really need to sit down and be like okay cool where what are my systems what do i find works best who can't i talk to because they're negative you know stuff like that and when you speak to god you know ask those questions that who am i why, why am i here what's my purpose which lives am i going to change whose lives am i going to be of service to and how am i going to become a better person because he knows everything and i will do a separate video on that but for now gym is the best thing you can do for your life one of the best keeps you in shape one two you're more regulated mentally and three it's fun you end up having a safe place because everyone that's in there has the same motive to get better that's one thing about the gym guaranteed people in there to get better you find one or two people where they're just a bit weird you know just like it's it, things won't be sensing they won't be making sense but occasionally that is like out of the blue but to start off with you do have um, a group of people trying to be better and you just have to work on yourself you know just work there find people the same like mind find a few friends and just better yourself because you you owe that to yourself you owe that to your body and I want to take up too much of your time guys I think the biggest story of this is that you're never too far gone I really thought I was done when I almost didn't pass my IGCSEs really really down bad i did not feel good about that at all made a lot of people upset which to this day still gives me a bit of achiness some somewhere in my body you know my heart some of my body my heart sometimes i'm like you know i almost let people down and i know a lot of people feel like they've let people down it's never too late to turn around speak to god pray about it and just work harder go to the gym go to the gym go to the gym regardless how you feel go to the gym trust me it will be the biggest change of your life you will find joy in places you never thought were there you will have opportunities open to you right now you could watch this video in two months you could be a next let's just say three four months you could be the next gymshock model that everyone's looking out for and just like being that person and it just takes that time and consistency that you're able to do so join the gym don't be scared I was scared when I started I used to be bullied about my head I don't even think about my head anymore to be fair I don't even small small characteristics which were once negative I find strong suits I don't even think about that anymore because I started going gym and I was so proud of myself of where I was now that yeah I'm cool I'm good so take the time to learn who you are things you don't like about yourself things you like about yourself dismiss the bad things lean towards the better things right do you have the potential to become such an amazing person time will tell and your hard work will pay off so keep on working hard keep on dreaming keep on praying to god keep on aspiring because everything you want will come in due time so i appreciate you guys for watching this video um like share subscribe it's my duty as a youtuber so do it help me pull through help me get out the the trenches but <laughs> anyways guys been good talking to you guys you have a good one um go to the gym tomorrow today whatever time you're watching this make sure you go to it and much love appreciate the support and i also said i'm so sorry with nothing else to say let go